Hi guys! So really quick, I just wanted to make this video. This video is going to be a lot of me just talking. Um, I would have rather gone live and done this video, but where I'm at right now, the service is horrible for like almost an hour away. <laughs> so I had to make this video instead of going live. But I wanted to make this video and address a couple of things. So my last video that I just posted on Wednesday about getting rid of my RV and living full-time in my Jeep, I noticed there were a lot of comments underneath that video about I should not have gotten rid of my RV. Why did you get rid of the RV? Like there were tons of comments about that. Um, so I felt like I should address those comments and so you guys can understand a little bit more of what I'm doing and why I decided to get rid of my RV. Um, I know a lot of you guys are concerned about me, especially living out of my Jeep and stuff. And, uh, I know it's a hard thing to understand <laughs> of why I choose to live out of a vehicle and got rid of this nice travel trailer that I had. So I want to make this video and just uh, let you guys know why. <laughs> so, um, first of all, gas is expensive. <laughs> it is very expensive. So it's already expensive in this Jeep alone. But towing the travel trailer behind it was even like double expensive. Um, and then the gas prices, we all know, is ridiculous in a lot of places, especially on the West Coast. So that had a lot to do with it right there. Um, another thing is um, the stress on my Jeep. So Jeeps are known to not be good tow vehicles. I did have a lot of upgrades done underneath uh, the, the hood of my Jeep, you know, and stuff um, to, to help tow better and everything. And I was able to actually tow all the way from Vegas, all the way to South Dakota and North Dakota and all the way back over to uh, Vegas and California. But I could feel the stress on my Jeep and also my 4x4 shop in Vegas said that it's a good thing that I quit towing the travel trailer behind my Jeep. Now my tow capacity for my Jeep is 3,500 pounds but you got to think I have these big tires, I have the lift on my Jeep so that puts a lot of extra stress on my Jeep when I'm towing. Um, so that was another factor into why I wanted to get rid of the travel trailer too. Now for these past seven months that I've had the travel trailer stored and just was living in my Jeep for the winter for the last seven months, I did a lot of back and forth thinking about it. You know, I really thought about did I want to get rid of the travel trailer? I had already kind of made up my mind that I probably wasn't going to tow the travel trailer anymore with the Jeep. But I was putting it in my head a lot. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll just keep it in storage and store it. And I'll keep it for whenever I decide that I need to take a break from all this traveling. Or, you know, eventually I'm going to want to stop for a little bit. Um, I'd have the travel trailer. You guys know my dream is to own some land and property, and I could put the travel trailer on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, if I would have done that, I would have been paying for a storage unit. Well, not storage unit, but storage for the trailer. And so, therefore, I'd be paying storage for the trailer on something that I wasn't using. And then also, I was still making payments on the trailer. So... 
I would have been making payments, insurance, um, storage, all that for something that I wasn't using. And right now, I'm trying to live as minimalist as possible because I'm trying to save money to be able to do what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so that was a factor. <laughs> um, yeah, like I'm not making, I don't have a huge savings account. Um, and I'm not making a whole lot of money, you know, so I, I get paid from YouTube get paid from Patreon, um, but they're not huge paychecks. As you guys know, I'm still trying to build my channel, <laughs> but over these last seven months of living in my Jeep, I've learned to just live very minimalist and just uh, penny pinch on everything and try to save money so I can do what I'm doing right now. Um, so one of the biggest factors of why I decided to live in my Jeep is you guys know, and I know I know I have a lot of new people to the channel, um, but I'm sure everybody knows my, my background and my backstory because I have it on my main video on, on my channel and I talk about it a lot. I mean, I have it in the last couple videos, last lot of videos um but I started all this traveling for a purpose and for a reason I started this traveling because I was not a happy person I was battling with depression every single day every day before I started this traveling I literally was battling with depression every day and depression is something that I have dealt with since I was a kid, but after losing my dad and my two best friends and all that that happened, it was an everyday thing of me dealing with depression. And so I decided to start traveling the States and go be with nature. I've always loved being around nature. I've always loved hiking. I've always loved camping. Every time I've just went and hiked or camped or just went and sat on a mountain somewhere, um, I was always at peace. And that was the only time I was ever at peace was being around nature. And so that's why I started this traveling and everything to work on myself and to make myself happy and to rediscover myself and start a whole new life. Um, and thank God I did. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is all, I don't have anything written down or anything, so I'm just talking to you guys. But, um, me living in my Jeep is so much less stress on me than having to tow the travel trailer behind it. Um, I don't have to unhook, hook things up, um... I don't have the stress of driving and towing it and stuff. And uh, I can get to a lot more better places with just my Jeep than my trailer. And then also, how do I explain this? <laughs> um, I've come to terms that I, I've gotten rid of almost everything that I've ever owned in my whole entire life. I've gotten rid of everything. Everything that I own right now is inside this Jeep. So one of the things with working on my, my happiness and working on myself and uh, working on rediscovering who I am and everything has a lot to do with the, the materialistic side of it. Um, I just want to be as minimalist as possible. And just basically start completely over with everything. I don't need the material things. Um, I just, I, I don't. <laughs> um, it's, it's hard to, ex I have it all in my head. Like, how to explain it, but it's just so hard to explain. 
Um, I feel like the way, basically the way that I'm living right now with nothing, you know, just what I have in my Jeep right here, um, and living very minimalist, I feel like is a way to help me with this journey that I'm on, if that makes sense. I think it does. <laughs> but I mean, I get that a lot of people don't understand why I'm living in my Jeep. You know, there's there's a lot of people, and you can Google it or search it on YouTube. There's a lot of people that live out of their vehicles. And a lot of those people have no choice but to live in their vehicles. Um, they can't afford apartments. They can't afford housing. Um, or they were in domestic situations or something, you know. So there's a lot of people that live in their vehicles. And when I was down in Quartzsite, I got to meet a lot of awesome people that lived in their vehicles. Like a lot of people that lived in their vehicles. It was pretty awesome and cool to meet all those people down there. Um, and this lifestyle isn't for everyone. But what back to what I was saying, you know, like... There's a lot of people that are forced to do this right here. I choose to do it. I choose to live in my vehicle. And the reason why I choose to do it is because I'm happy. This is what's making me happy. I'm able to go explore nature a lot better in just my Jeep. I'm happy and content just being by myself and secluding myself and being away from the cities or, you know, working a job or anything like that. Like I'm, I'm happy living the poor life <laughs> and being with nature. And I got to do what makes me happy. Like I know I share everything with you guys on here, pretty much everything. Um, and I, I, I always read everyone's comments and I always put things in I, I take everyone's comments to heart always put them into consideration everything and this is why I'm addressing this situation right here because there were a lot of comments and concerns about me getting rid of my RV and just living in my Jeep um, but when it comes down to it I have to do what makes me happy and I have to continue I'm obviously doing something right because I've never been this happy before in my life. I'm 45 years old and I've had a rough life since I was three years old. Uh, I've just had a horrible, <clears throat> horrible rough life. And I always dwelled on everything that's ever happened to me. And this journey that I'm on I've learned to deal with my past. I've learned to make myself happy. I've learned how to deal with my depression. I don't get depressed that much anymore. Before I started this traveling, I was depressed every single day. Every day. Um, now I might have my moment maybe once a month. Because depression is going to be something that I always, always, always have to deal with. It's just, I've come to terms with it. But I have to say, only having to deal with it maybe once a month is pretty darn good right now. Pretty darn good. So, I'm obviously doing something right. I'm obviously happy. You guys even say it in my comments that you guys could see a change in me in every single video. I just look happier and happier and happier. You know, I don't plan on living out of my Jeep for the rest of my life. But, but this journey that I'm on, I'm going to live in my Jeep. I'm eventually going to take breaks or stop or whatever. You know, the time's going to come. I'm going to get older and I'm not going to want to be living in my vehicle anymore. Um... When those times come, I can always just get another travel trailer or an RV and live in it or put it on the property or whatever or have a house on some land. You know, I can always, always do that. That's always in the future. I'm not going to live in my Jeep for the rest of my life. 
But right now, with what I'm doing for myself and for my dog, so what I'm doing for myself with trying to keep myself happy and make myself happy and love myself and work on myself, this is the way I've decided to do it. So I hope by making this video, I hope that you guys can understand a little bit more on why I'm living out of my Jeep and why I've decided to do this. I hope, I just hope that you guys can understand a little bit more. Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty homey in here. I mean, it's, it's bigger than some other people's vehicles that they're, they're living in. Um, I'm, I'm happy. I really am happy. Like, I almost want to cry right now telling you guys how happy I am. I've never been this happy ever in my whole... I don't think I ever knew what true, true happiness was until I started this journey. Like, literally, I don't think I knew what true happiness was. So, yeah. You know, like, I, I have to do what makes me happy. And I hope that all you guys will understand now why I'm doing this there's going to be other RVs out there there's going to be other travel trailers out there there's going to be other houses out there <laughs> um, but this is this is the way I'm going to do things for right now um, it's uh, it's very easy on me very easy so I just want to make this little video um, guess there's not going to be a whole lot of editing for this video right here, so that's good. Uh, sorry if it's a little blurry or whatever, the sun's going down, but I wanted to go ahead and get this video done and so I could get it out tomorrow morning. <laughs> um, so yeah, if there's any questions, put them in the comments, because I do read the comments and everything, and thank goodness I don't have to edit this video. This is going to be an easy one. All right, till next time, little one, come say hi just real quick. She's sleeping on my lap. See, see, my mama just woke me up. My mama just woke me up. She's like, I like my mama being happy too. I like her being happy also. It makes me happy. She's got a little hoodie on because it's cold where we're at. Hoodie, hoodie time. <laughs> All right, till next time, guys. Bye.